There are new concerns this morning about the people paid to keep airline passengers safe. The Government Accountability Office is releasing a report today. It focuses on employee misconduct at the TSA. CBS News has learned the infractions include sleeping on the job, letting friends and family go through checkpoints unscreened, and leaving work without permission. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is here. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So tell us more about this report. Well, the Government Accountability Office looked at about 9,600 cases of reported TSA officer misconduct. Now, as you mentioned, about 2,800 of those cases was about leaving work early or excessive tardiness. Now, that in itself would not be a direct impact on safety. But then here comes the, 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 the tough stuff. 1,900 plus cases were about security and screening, sleeping on the job, and even worse, apparently some officers had their own friends and family program. They allowed their, their friends and family to go through without being screened. Now that does have an impact on security. How are you able to sleep on the job in that position? You know what? You're engaging it, with people all I, the time. You know what? It's not about engaging. That's the problem. If you and I had that job on that conveyor belt with the security after about the ninth bag, I'd be asking for a price check on yeah. aisle five because uh, okay. it's a tedious, it's tedious. boring okay. job. And up until recently, the TSA protocols for their behavior were not to let their officers think on the job. They just had to follow this robotic protocol. They started a program in Boston to engage passengers in actual conversations that didn't require a yes or no answer, but that hasn't been rolled out yet. Mm -hmm. That's why you'll see all those TSA officers being rotated about every 20 minutes, because it is that boring. It is that tedious. It's Where the worst is? when they rotate, though, as, you're, as it gets to you. Yes, of right course. Right when it gets to you, there's a, there's a change. That's always a little yeah. aggravating. But don't they always say, hey, Gail? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. So where is the oversight? Well, there's the problem. After 9-11, they ramped up the Department of Homeland Security so quickly, it became the third largest federal agency in the United States. You have 50,000 TSA officers. You have, they're screening over 1.8 million passengers a day at 450 airports. That part we have. But where was the oversight to review their behavior? And most importantly, where's the tracking once they do corrective action or they do some punishment to find out what behavior is still allowed to be happening in the system? And that's really what the GAO report was looking at. And that's really what's going to be talked about later today. So does there need to be better tracking of the violations that occur? How about some tracking? Oh, okay. I mean, that's There's no the, tracking. That's the problem. They haven't found it. And, and, and if you if you don't track it and you don't monitor it, that means that you're tolerating behavior that may be repeated. Thank you, Peter. You got it, Charlie.